Hi Andy, nice video, I really liked it. Casey Neistat style, this constantly on the airport sort of thing, traveling around. I thought I'll respond to your second video, I think it was, about your upcoming YouTube experience in a video. I thought this is probably the best way to do it. Now, first thing that I realized, it's not really about the video, it's about the title. You talked about the road to Bali. Actually, the road to Bali sounds much better than the flight to Bali, which it actually was. But it's not only this technical thing. I think if you would have taken the road to Bali, you would have had much more time to contemplate about your signs, about things happening, sort of like Goethe's trip to Italy. And when he came back and he said it's all about coming back, it's all about uh, taking in the experience, that all misses if modern scientists uh, fly to a, a conference and come back and take a video on the way. So I think that if you actually have um, an experience, um, then you will think of how to actually translate that. Second point is that if you talk about irrelevance of scientists and yourself maybe, I think it's you will have to distinguish between the irrelevance of science and the ir possible irrelevance of the scientists. Science will probably never be completely irrelevant. The scientists might become somewhat irrelevant because uh, algorithms might, might take over certain parts of that uh, what the scientist does in terms of interpretation and maybe being wrong and not, not um, objective enough in order to actually interpret his or her own science. But I think what I'm saying is if, if science becomes uh, relatively irrelevant then it's because the scientist cannot translate the proper meaning, the interpretation, to the people that he or she actually wants um, to, to have a listen to. So this point is more about how you actually transport your idea to your so-called target groups or the general public. And I think what I wanted to um, recommend is I'm going to put it into the video now and the, the link into the comment. Um, it's an article from the New Yorker about two years ago uh, by a woman called Colbert and it's all about science uh, and facts and how facts actually don't convince because that's I think what you need to look at is how do you make convincing arguments without getting stuck on your facts because that's the point. People don't react to facts. They react to emotions. And that's the difference between science, the scientists, and how you translate uh, what you want to say. And that's how you actually maybe will be relevant. Thanks.